hi friends welcome back to my channel i'm still your favorite baker the recipe queen so in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make these cake toppers actually i made all this by myself I, I just used my phone and my printer to achieve all this they're so so easy to make and guess what do you know you can also start up another business you can start up this as a side hustle you can start making cake toppers and selling to bakers so they can use all this for their cake decoration i know you don't want to miss this so sit back relax make sure you watch this video to the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for you to make your cake toppers you need these two apps you need them to be downloaded or installed on your android phones now is either you go to your app store or your play store then search for these apps and download them So here is my Android phone. Now I've installed my Pinterest app. It's time for me to open it up. Then I have a Cinderella themed cake to decorate. So I'm looking for a Cinderella image. So on this Pinterest app, I'll type and search for Cinderella images. As you can see, I have one lovely Cinderella image here. So I'll look for the best based on the cake I want to decorate, the one that can fit it more. I love this one, but I think I'll have to go for some better one that has a white background so now this has a white background now I'm going to save this particular image so now I would have to tap download image now I've downloaded it on my phone As you can see, these are all the lovely images you can also download. This app really helps. It gives you ideas, different ideas and keep you inspired. Now I'm on Pizzle. So this is my Pizzle app. I already saved this um, image. Now I'm going to doodle it. That is, I'm going to clean off all this to give it a plain background. Now I'm going to import other images to this plain background by using the double exposure. So I've clicked on the double exposure now. It's bringing out tap photo. So now I'm going to choose the picture I want to import to that background. Now this is what we'll have. As you can see, I have this image on my phone. I downloaded it from Pinterest app and the image has Cinderella on it. So I'm going to clean off that Cinderella. All I need to do is um, choose a color that matches with the background where we have the Cinderella. Then I think I've gotten the color. Now I'm going to do the lid off. Like I said earlier, I have a Cinderella tin cake to decorate and the um, celebrant's name is Chinaza. So I'm going to replace that um, Cinderella with Chinaza. Now I'm typing Chinaza. 
then I will have to save the name then take it to the image just all you need to do is just to drag the name then zoom it in or zoom it out depending on how big or small you want it so this is it now I'm meant to write chin as that is sis so I'll be doing that now I'll have to save this first then come back type is then type 6 if you type then you drag drag it to the position where you want it to stay exactly so here is where I want the is to stay or appear on so I have chin as that is then I'll be typing 6 as well so I've typed the C's and I'll have to drag it to that same place now this is what we have you can also change the font if you don't like this like I'm changing the font now to make it bolder so this is what I have here chin as that is C so this is what Opeza apps does for you I hope it's interesting you are really enjoying the video so now I'm going to import other images too that will be on this particular page so this is the next image that will be on this page then now I'm going to put up another image too because already there is a space and I have another image that will be placed on the cake so now this is a border image then I'll have to insert a Cinderella image inside this so this is what I need to do I'll have to go to double exposure tap on it then tap on the picture that I want to be there then put it then tap darker so I've tapped the darken button so this is what I have the picture automatically has entered here and this is what we achieved all you need to do now is to save the image then press ok so this is it I've saved this on my phone so if you go to my camera roll you will see it under the piezo so now this is my printer I'm going to put my A4 paper now this is the card the paper is not the soft type is the card type please this is not edible remember I said we are making toppers so this is not edible the paper is not edible now I will have to open up my phone then put on my Wi-Fi then it will see the printer then get to the email then press print automatically is out then I'm going to click on the yellow space now that is the print button now is printing as you can see the paper is getting into the printer and it's coming out so let's see what we have now this takes just an average of say two minutes and you're done now it's coming out exactly what I saved on my phone is what we have here so this is it now look at what I printed and exactly what I saved on my phone so this is what I saved on my phone then this is what I printed as you can see hmm. so now I will have to cut off what I printed remember it's a topper so we we'll have to make it stand on the cake so I'll cut off then support it with my kebab stick or you can use your lollipop stick as well anyone so now put little glue I used my yuhu glue then stick the kebab stick on it then allow it to dry so this is it 
this is my cake topper then what do you have to say i hope you like it then this is the cake i'm making for my customer actually my customer's daughter is turning sis and she wants a cinderella themed cake so this is what we we'll have here i'm inserting the cake topper i hope you like this if you like this video if you enjoyed watching it just drop your comments let me know how you feel about this so this is chinaza's cake this is her cinderella themed birthday cake thanks for watching and see you in my next video